got to Haiti, just getting my uh, luggage and bags. Then we'll be meeting up with um, some other colleagues, heading to dinner, meet with some local officials and uh, surgeons in the uh, area just to discuss some plans for the week. We'll see you soon. Just got to our hotel um, from the airport. Beautiful view of Haiti. Haiti is very beautiful, very green. Um, about to go to dinner to meet with some officials in the city and also some, uh, some local surgeons here to kind of plan our week. See you shortly. kids playing in their backyard. This is their backyard. are ever in Haiti you should check out a, a restaurant called Hotel Montana you have this beautiful view of the city and sunset um, located in Haiti called Hotel Montana definitely check it out you guys are ever in, in Haiti. It is day one here in Haiti. How you doing? Bunger. Uh, just woke up. Just got some breakfast at the hotel that we're staying at. So this is the uh, hotel here. It has a, it's a pretty nice uh, view of the city balcony. This is uh, the hotel that I'm staying at. Haiti is uh, pretty hot, so it's nice to come somewhere where uh, there's a little bit of AC, not every part of Haiti has AC, but this is a refrigerator. Uh, I don't think that it is on, um, but two beds in this room. There's a uh, TV on the wall. Uh, I do have uh, outlets that I can plug my American, um, you know, electronics on. This is actually some supplies that I brought over. Let's check and see what all we have in here. Um, looks like TSA kind of went through my bag. But lots of surgical gowns and instruments. Uh, these are external fixator supplies where we can put these on patients who uh, need surgery but not immediately. Kind of stabilize their fractures. So these are instruments that we use in the uh, U.S. Uh, we'll bring them over for instruments. So, should be a good day today. Uh, we'll keep you guys updated. So this is the uh, hotel that we're staying at here in Port-au-Prince. This is the capital of Haiti. I'm gonna walk you guys to the hotel, show you around. A beautiful hotel. Haiti's kind of known for their uh, culture, art, 
beautiful park here. of the hotel here where you check in. Really beautiful. Pieces of this country. The artwork. My room is up that way. Go back here in the back for this little restaurant. Uh -huh. I prefer. Yeah, this is how we get around here in Pity. Yeah. And now uh, we are the we are inside the hotel, the mm -hmm. mess hotel. And uh, we are going to university hospital now. And after we back to the hotel and uh, enjoy the day. Alright. How long yes. you been driving? Um uh, ten years. Ten years? Ten years. Yeah, and where are you from originally? I'm from Haiti uh -huh. and Petionville. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And if people wanted to get in contact with you, if they're yes. ever in Haiti, how can they contact you? Exactly. Just contact me. All this right. My number is uh, 519-460-0437-37. And I'll put a business card up for you guys. This is my business card. Uh, all right. All right. Outside of the hospital in, in Haiti, uh, Port-au-Prince, which is the capital of Haiti, the majority of people they work uh, in commerce. So they sell certain things on the side of the street, whether it's fruit, vegetables, uh, clothes. You can buy uh, deodorant. You want to show them the? Uh, you can buy shoes, uh, books. Um, that's how. That's how majority of people make their income here in Haiti. Got to the uh, hospital. Doctor Brady and Doctor Wilkins. Uh, uh, we just arrived to the uh, University Hospital here in Haiti. Uh, this is the outside of the building here. Normally, we try to uh, work outside of this room right here, but there is no uh, AC, so we're going to find another place to take it back. This is the room where we usually give our lectures at. But no AC, like I said, so we're going across the hall. To a, another part of the hospital. I'll walk you guys over to the pediatric, so urology part. So. Here. This is the ward where patients stay. This is some of their beds here. Some equipment. More bed. What is clubfoot? What causes clubfoot? What determines the method of treatment? And how is clubfoot treated? 
you know, if we can answer these questions, that's the end of my talk. Can you answer all these questions? No. It's okay, so the, the nerve that's impressed is the uh, axillary nerve. Uh, this incidence of 2 to 2%. Uh, I guess it's been a higher incidence if you have an EMG. Uh, so you can have some neurotraxia symptoms from basically stretching as the uh, patient dislocates. Uh, it's important to kind of monitor their uh, uh, posterior deltoid, and sometimes your sensory exam can be uh, unreliable. Uh, but there's no recovery in three months. That's a bad prognosis, and usually. Uh, There you go. Surgery, yeah, surgery. I, I okay. yeah. Yeah. yeah, and and other so surgery at mm -hmm. the belly at the Yeah, so you did five years of medical school. No, me, I'm a resident, out of resident. Uh -huh. uh, four years, uh -huh. four years, four years, four years of uh, yeah. medical school. No, four years, yeah, okay, I did. four years at the residency, four years, four years. Me, I'm, a, I'm a total resident, 30 years, okay, awesome. This is Dr. Antonio Webb here. If you guys ever have the opportunity to visit Haiti or any other third world country, I suggest that you do that. The things that I saw here, um, a lot of the equipment, a lot of the supplies they don't have that we normally have in the U.S., um, they just don't have those things here. The resources, the capabilities, the manpower. Any third world country, if you have an opportunity to get on a medical mission trip or just volunteer, go to a third world country, it will change your life. 